Good afternoon, Knights, and welcome to your ACP newscast. Congratulations to the wrestling team on placing 11th in this past weekend in state tournament. Hirosh Astani and Yusuf Halik both placed 5th in the championship tournament, while Luke Orr finished 6th. Great season, wrestlers. Spear week is next week, so make sure you dress appropriately. Tuesday is PJ Day. Wednesday is Dynamic Duo Day. Dress up with a friend as a dynamic duo like Batman and Robin, Peanut Butter and Jelly, Black and White, etc. Thursday is Stoplight Day. Wear green if you're single, yellow if it's complicated, and red if you're in a relationship. Friday is American Heroes Day. Dress like a doctor, nurse, wear camo, or just American colors. Tonight is ACP Science Night. Make sure you stop by to experience the world of science. Also, this week is our biggest open mic night of the year. Come on out and see all the talent ACP has to offer. Next, we have our bloggers of the week. We are also very proud to announce the Eyes of Peace t-shirt campaign sponsored by the National Honor Society. T-shirts are Friday approved and only $15. All profits from your purchases will be donated to the United Nations Central Emergency Response Fund. Keep in, keep in mind that one t-shirt can provide four people with a year-long supply of water or 53 children with a meal. Remember to turn in your forms to Ms. Wilson in the front office by February 28th to support this cause. Next we have our viral bloggers. Howdy. My name is Hunter O'Brien. I'm with ACP Spin. Can I ask you a question today? Yeah, sure. Alrighty, so since Morp's coming up in about uh, two weeks here on February 24th, can I ask you if you could go anywhere in the U.S. of A, God bless America, where would you go? I would say Chicago, Mount Rushmore. Hawaii. If I could visit one place in the United States, it'd be uh, New York. Las Vegas. If I could go anywhere in the world, I would go to Florida. I would go to North Carolina. If I would have to go anywhere in the United States, I would go to Nebraska. If I could go anywhere, I'd probably go to the Chicago. That's where I go. If I could go anywhere in the United States, I'd go to South Carolina. I would go to Boston, Massachusetts. I'd go to Vegas. Maine. New York City. Arizona, because there's no place like home. Hello Knights, how are you? I'm assuming you're doing good, this week's been pretty good so far, but we're about to make it better. We're about to show you a place. A super magical place. A place I've never seen before. Very secret, but it's just hidden in the school. What is it called, Harsh? The College and Career Center. You know who runs it? Yeah, Miss Dalton. Yeah, Miss Dalton, that's right. Miss Dalton, she can show you many things that you may not know about. Some things are like what? Field trips? Field trips, college tours. College tours. Um, they can help with scholarships. She I mean, helps a lot, man. I'm telling yeah, you. Scholarships, that's like free money. Why, why wouldn't you want the scholarships? She's like fast web, all these websites all combined into a realistic one person. Yeah. So come with us. We'll show you a place where you can find. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's no. walk in. Let's go inside. Let's see what this is all about. After you, Let's cameraman. Hello, Miss Dalton. Welcome. It's great to see you guys. How are you today? Good. How great. about how you? you? Great. So, would you tell us a little bit about the College and Career Center and what you do? 
I would love to. I help students find colleges that are a good fit for them, scholarships, take them on campus tours, and provide any information I can. I think it's big students now. So thank you, Ms. Dolan, for telling us about uh, what you do in the College Career Center. You guys should swing by, come by, get some more information. Enjoy the College and Career Center. We already showed you the secret magical pathway to this place. So come and enjoy. Talk with Ms. Dalton. Your entrance. Strive for the impossible and be extraordinary. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back. Congratulations on our high school speech and debate team. The team participated in the Bobcat Speech and Debate Tournament this past weekend, which is the largest tournament of the year with over a thousand individuals competing. Janani Lakshmanan made it to the quarterfinals in the Linkus Douglas debate, and Alex Ishak made it to the semifinals in the original oratory, speaking on the topic of grit. All of our debate teams had winning records and our speech contestants ranked high. Please join me in congratulating the entire team on their performance. That's all we have for this week's news, and as always, nice, drive the impossible. And be extraordinary. <laughs>